हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्पीड स्टडी द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन द स्पीड स्टडी इज स्पॉट स्पीड इट इज एन इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड ऑफ व्हीकल एट अ पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन ऑफ रोड और टाइम इट मींस दैट इट इज द टाइम ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट स्पॉट स्पीड इज यूज्ड टू डिजाइन हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल कर्व सिग्नल्स एक्सीडेंट एनालिसिस एज वेल एज लोकेशन ऑफ ट्रैफिक साइन इफ द स्पीड ऑफ व्हीकल एट अ पर्टिकुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ अ रोड इज वेरी हाई then the peripheral vision will decrease so we have to fix the traffic signs at such an angle so that it can be easily visible to the vehicle moving on that road now spot speed is measured by instruments known as enoscope contact pressure tube and loop detectors the next topic is average speed now we know that spot speed is the speed of a particular vehicle at an instant of time but if we want to define the average speed then it is the average of spot speed of all vehicles passing a given point of road suppose that if we take this particular section of a road then the spot speed of all the vehicle passing from that cross section of road will be counted and the average of that spot speeds is known as average speed now the first average speed is time mean speed denoted by vt arithmetic mean of speed of vehicle during an interval of time is known as time mean speed it can be determined by adding all the spot speeds and dividing by the number of vehicles passing through that cross section of the road now next is the space mean speed denoted by vs average speed of vehicle over a certain road length at any time is known as space mean speed now suppose that this is the particular road length now the average speed of the vehicle along that road length will be the space mean speed and it is determined by the formula n that is the number of vehicle passing through that particular length of road divided by 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 plus 1 by v3 and so on up till 1 by vn now next is the journey speed journey speed can be determined by the length of travel divided by journey time suppose that if a driver will start a vehicle from madhya pradesh and he has to travel the distance up to gujarat then suppose that this distance is 1000 km and the time taken by the driver to cover this distance is 24 hours if we divide the total distance traveled by the driver by the time taken by the driver that speed is known as journey speed because it is the total time inclusive of all the delays now if we want to compute the running speed then we had to subtract the delay time from the journey time so that we will be able to determine the running time of the vehicle so if we divide the distance between the two points by the running time then it will be the running speed of the vehicle okay so running speed can be determined by length of travel divided by the running time and running time can be determined by subtracting the delay from the journey time now the next is type of speed study generally there are two types of speed studies carried out it cannot be used to find the density because measurements are done at one point only now the first one is spot speed study now the use of spot speed study is first in planning traffic control and in traffic regulation the next one is in geometric design for redesigning existing highway or for deciding design speed for new facilities now the next is accident studies to calculate the traffic capacity describe the speed trend along that particular section of road and compare diverse type of drivers and vehicles under specific conditions now the next topic is the factors affecting the spot speed now which factors affect the spot speed first one is the pavement because if the pavement is not smooth then it will affect the spot speed of the vehicle as well as width of curve similarly side distance the next one is gradient if the gradient is very high then the spot speed of the vehicle is low now the next factor is the pavement characteristic another one is unevenness intersections roadside developments enforcement traffic conditions driver 
vehicle and the last one is motive of travel they all affect the spot speed of the vehicle now the next topic is the representation of spot speed data the first one is average speed of vehicle it is the space mean speed and time mean speed from the spot speed data of the selected samples frequency distribution tables are prepared for various speed ranges and number of vehicles in such range this frequency distribution table prepared gives the general information of the speed distribution pattern from this space mean and time mean speed are calculated now the next one is the cumulative speed of vehicle which is shown here a graph is plotted between average value of each speed group and cumulative percentage of vehicle traveled at or below different speeds from the above graph 85th percentile speed is found out which means that only 15% of vehicle exceeds this speed during that stretch 85th percentile is considered as the safe limit under the zone and all the drivers exceeding this speed that is 85th percentile speed are considered faster than the safe speed but for the purpose of highway geometric design we consider 98th percentile speed also 15th percentile speed is taken as a lower speed limit it is derived to prohibit the slow moving vehicles to decrease delay and congestion that is for segregation of fast moving vehicles with slow moving vehicle that is all about the speed study thank you very much students